Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my watch videos. Today I'm going to look at the Rolex Explorer, um, Explorer 1 for some people. This is the newer 39mm uh, version, um, a very recent acquisition of mine, actually it arrived just yesterday. Uh, great Rolex sports watch I've been looking at for a while. Um, actually I've been looking at several Rolexes and trying to decide which one I was going to buy um, at this time and kind of settled on the 39mm Explorer. Uh, so I'll go into that a little bit and uh, talk about the watch and, and why I decided to acquire it. Okay, so the, the Explorer um, has loads of history and I won't go into that because I think um, you know, there's probably plenty of YouTube videos or web articles that cover that. Um, but you know, it's, it's one of the, probably the earliest sports watch that Rolex made. You know, it was slightly before the Submariner. Um, it has a lot of the, the, the basic elements, um, um, the original Oyster case uh, that's been used so many times. Um, some subtleties that I like about this particular case as opposed to some of the other ones is the, you know, the slightly rounded um, sides that you find on some of the, some of the Oysters. Um, it is one of the earliest Rolexes available that you can find with, with the solid link bracelet instead of hollow links. And it does have the, the easy link um, adjustment on the back so you can actually uh, pop it out and add um, half a centimeter of extra um, size uh, if, you're, uh, if you find your wrists have changed size over the day. Uh, great um, clasp, much better than the old ones in my opinion. Um, well worth the, the extra money of the older versus, versus the newer models. At 39 millimeters, probably not uh, big by today's standards, but you know, one of the things when I was looking at a Rolex was to buy something that um, I could wear pretty much forever um, and not regret and not have to worry about um, it, it, it uh, matching what I'm wearing at the moment. For me, the style of the, of the Explorer with the, the, the matte black dial, uh, the gold uh, 936 and, and other applied markers, um, the, the kind of um, you know sophisticated but somewhat subdued and quiet case and, and brush links really spoke to me as a great all-around do-everything watch. I mean, it, it has you know sporty elements to it, dressy elements, and again, at 39 millimeters, it's a size that I think um, really is is just right. Um, maybe a small um, by today's like diver size uh, standards, but you know, as a as a daily um, sports watch, I think it's just right. Uh, it, it it works very um, well with <clears throat> you know a shirt or or jeans. Uh, you know, it never looks out of place, and it also isn't uh, quite as flashy as some other Rolex models out there. Uh, of course, I looked at that the Submariners, but. You know, for me, uh, maybe I'm, I'm a bit odd, but I've seen so many of them. Um, living here in Tokyo, I probably see several Submariners a day, either on the train or walking around the office or whatever, that I, I just they become kind of passe. Um, I know that's hard to say that about an icon, but yeah, just, just how I feel about it. Many people feel differently. Um, the Explorer, I don't really see that often. It's a little different. Um, it's a little quieter, which is probably part of the reason why some people don't wear it because it doesn't scream Rolex, you know, for the people who really want to show off their Rolex. And, but that subdued um, kind of quiet nature is what I like about it. I like the, you know, the, the, the quiet face. I like the, la the lack of a really flashy bezel. Um, I like the, the mostly brushed textures on it, although there is certainly some polishing on it. Uh, you know, all around, it just it has this kind of um, ubiquitous qualities of a sports watch that, that uh, you know, I can really, you know, for lack of a better term, I can grow old with this watch and, and never find it too big or too flashy or unsuitable for what I want to wear. And, you know, price-wise, it's not all that bad. Um, I actually picked this one up um, pre-owned, um, was purchased earlier this year and then sold. Who knows, maybe wanted, somebody wanted a Submariner because it wasn't flashy enough for them. Um, but I, you know, by doing that, I got about $1,000 off um, the original price, uh, which I think is you know, quite reasonable for me. Um, although they are still a lot of money for what they are, I'm a, f a fairly simple sports watch. Uh, I, I don't regret it because I feel like the quality is there, the heritage is there. It's something that I can keep for a very, very long time, be happy with. Um, always be comfortable wearing it, you know, even when going on holiday or something like that, being not as flashy as a Submariner, I don't have to worry about someone wanting to, to swipe it or steal it or something like that. Um, it's, it's not as recognizable as, hey, Rolex, you know, as some of the other versions are. Um, but again, it had, it had everything I wanted. It had the history, it has a pedigree, um, has a sportiness, has a dressiness, the right size, everything all in one package. Um, and, that, and that's really why I bought it. 
I can't I can't find any faults with it as a watch. I think it just it just sits beautifully on the wrist. It's very comfortable. Um, it dresses up. It dresses down, depending upon what you want to do with it. Uh, it's not too flashy. It's not too quiet. You know, it's it's a probably the most respected watch brand. You know, I'm not saying it's the best, but one of the most respected out there and well known. Um, so you know, you, you feel like um, you know, there's very little regret in purchasing it as long as you can afford it comfortably, of course. Uh, I, I think for, for me and maybe for some other people, it's probably the best all around Rolex available. I know some people disagree and say, always oh, get a sub, get a sub. But I've, I've got so many dive watches that frankly, um, in my opinion, other watches do that kind of functionality better for me. I mean, if I have a Submariner, it's not the watch I would take diving with me. I would grab my, one of my Seikos and do that. So it doesn't really suit um, the purpose it was designed for. And, and because of that, it didn't have the, the place in my collection that it would deserve to be if I were to purchase it. So the Explorer 1 really ticked all the boxes for me in, in just the right way. Uh, and I, I think um, for, for someone like myself who's looking for something sporty but not over the top, something classic, something uh, you know timeless, the Rolex Explorer 1 uh, is the way to go. I mean, it's a fantastic watch to get. Um, it'll always be in my collection, I think. I don't see it going anywhere. It's, it, it fits in beautifully with my with my um, my Speedmaster and my Planet Ocean and all those other kind of watches that have the distinct um, styles to them. So again, Rolex Explorer 1, 39 millimeters, um, newer style, great all-around watch. Uh, would suggest anybody looking for a, a, a starter Rolex or a great all-around Rolex. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you can tune in for some more videos later on. Thanks. Bye.